Shut up and sit down. Hello again, gang. Yeah, inbox review time. Ravel, level four, one twenty fifth scale, fifty eight Corvette, rude star. Kit number zero seven zero three seven, containing one hundred and thirty seven. You got it, Ravel's finest quality parts. Little bit of history on the back of the box there, and some beautifully taken artwork of said kit. End opening box. Let's have a little looky loo. What you get inside? set of instructions there nice picture of said vehicle some decal some white wall tires some registration number plates lap belts instrument decals yeah etc some bits and pieces some instructions how to do this how to do that your paint call outs diagrams of what you get on the sprue they've even included the soft top there as well and then obviously exploded diagrams of putting the kit together putting the engine together chassis excuse me suspension Steering wheels, attaching the wheels, your dashboard, interior floors, all your interior trim, various pipes, then your bodywork and bumpers you know and, and your lipstick and your mascara and your soft top and all of that as well as some exploded views with the convertible with the soft top and yeah what you've got on the box now <laughs> I won this in a competition and excuse the crinkly bag I won this with a book on rusting models now the irony of this apart from the note to myself To get rid of the crinkly bags next time it's because this kit hasn't been opened i'll edit that out the irony of this was as I, I i won this in the competition and it came with a rusting book and fox <laughs> yeah fox you said to me wouldn't it be funny if you did this as a rusty Corvette. Now for those of you that don't know, uh, yeah, fiberglass body, fiberglass don't rust, and it would mess with people's heads if I did it as a rusty Corvette. And I am so tempted to do that, but I think I might be shot at dawn if I do, so yeah. Kit chrome yeah you know where that's going there's all your chassis soft top bonnet all your interior more kit chrome yeah bleach look at that 
tyres with a white ball in already on it. Da -da -da -da. That I've not seen before. Yeah, how different. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Clear parts. Yeah. And there's the bodywork. And seats and all of that lot. Now, uh, Fox, you're a bad man because you really have put this rust in this idea up in my head. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I do like that colour. Part of me says, oh, it looked really lovely. Shiny. But part of me has also got that naughty side in it that you know I've got. You know you put an idea in my head, mister. And it sits there and, to coin a phrase, it festers. <laughs> yeah, I know. And, uh, yeah. Even even a few subtle rust spots would be enough just to mess and get inside people's heads, wouldn't it? Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> I digress. But, uh, yeah. Really nice looking kit. Thank you, uh, E-Models. Uh, nice little win there. Um, I'm looking forward to doing this one. Um, yeah, I can see wires and fuel lines. and yeah. might, have to, might have to pop over to David's site and have a look at how it's done properly. And uh, have a go myself, yeah. Hmm... Yeah. Rightio. <laughs> That's a quick, I'd say inbox review, but a quick ramble about what I plan on doing with this one. Uh, thank you for watching and catch up with you when I come round to building this one. So look out for it. If you haven't clicked the bell already, then uh, give it a click and you'll get a notification when I upload stuff. So in the meantime, thank you for watching. Pop over to me Facebook. Feel free to pop up any photos you want of your work. Just create a folder or an album. Give it a name. And uh, I'll see you then. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>